Guys, Pitman Matt Marr here, Carolina Varsity, taking a look at my players of the game for uh, last week's action, week of 10-14. Uh, Attended the Myers Park Porter Ridge game. Had several guys that stood out in this game. Uh, first off, Jack Davidson, quarterback for Myers Park, four touchdown passes. Um, he had some zone read runs that were really tough. Um, ran the ball really well, and um, he led the offense very well in that football game. Uh, putting up 34 points. Also, Elijah Bowick had two touchdown catches. Uh, he was really featured in the quick screen game um, on the outside, and a lot of passes of his came uh, outside the numbers. Uh, really a big-time young, uh, big play receiver. Also, Syke Patrick, uh, number seven, had two touchdown catches. Um, one was a laser over the middle right before halftime. So a uh, nice catch in uh, tight traffic. The other uh, came off a of play action, first play of the fourth quarter that gave them that uh, last touchdown they scored for a 34-6 uh, margin that pretty much put the game out of reach. Even though Porter Ridge had a nice comeback, uh, it was just too much for them to overcome. Uh, also, for Myers Park, a couple guys on the defensive side of the ball, Ben Norris had a uh, interception, and he was in on a lot of uh, tackles. I uh, heard his name called a good bit in that game. Uh, also, two guys in the secondary, uh, both Dre Bly and Kevin Alford. Um, when <laughs> Porter Ridge threw the ball, it seemed like they were always there, either on a deflection or to uh, make the tackle. Uh, so it's very impressive on all those kids' parts for uh, Myers Park. Uh, for Porter Ridge, I got two guys, uh, quarterback Grayson McCall. Um, he had a couple of big runs. One of them was a highlight on my YouTube channel. It was very impressive. Uh, he led to come back in the fourth quarter, had some nice throws also. And on uh, number five, Mason Mills, uh, three touchdowns in the game rushing, and uh, he was really running hard. He has a highlight where he had a nice um, hard run on an interior run there. And I'm very impressed with both of those guys, and definitely a shout-out to both of those coaching staffs doing a heck of a job uh, this season with their programs. Uh, Coach Chadwick at Myers Park and uh, – Coach Hertz at Porter Ridge. Great job. Thank you for the hospitality once again. All right. We got a couple more here. Um, MHS does a great job for the North Piedmont area, sending nominations in. We got a couple from him here. Uh, Don Shell Jetton from Mooresville, uh, their star running back, 31 carries, 200 yards, and two touchdowns in their 38-20 to 20 victory over South Irondale. Also, uh, Dakota Ramsey from Mooresville, uh, defensive lineman had three sacks in that ball game. Uh, for South Iredale, starring Trey Page, uh, wide receiver had eight catches for 119 yards and two touchdowns. Um, good numbers. Uh, Lake Norman won over Alexander Central 45-21. Uh, to 21. And in that game, big star was Cole Jackson. Lake Norman running back had 33 carries, 277 yards, and four touchdowns. I tell you, man, that's putting in work. Big time, big win for Lake Norman. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, uh, West Iredell won over North Iredell, and in that game, a uh, big star for West Iredell was Keenan Bunch. Uh, Ten catches for 96 yards and two touchdowns, and he also had a, another rushing touchdown on top of that. Um, so that's a great job uh, for all of you guys um, in the players of the game for this past week. Um it's very important that you send in your nominations to us and let us know um, who you think did a good job in your football game. Um, we're really trying to kind of just focus on nominations, really, because you see so many um, guys that get um, recognized throughout the Observer and all that. And, you know, what we try to do is fill in the cracks, to be honest with you. And um, if we hear directly from coaches... Uh, we try to get those in, you know, as consistently as we can. And um, that's something we greatly appreciate. Uh, one of the things that I enjoyed when um, I coached was my guys getting recognized. And even though, you know, usually we didn't get a lot of coverage when I was at Harding or, you know, at Waddell, you know, it's nice to know that somebody somewhere <laughs> was um taking care of us and, and really looking out for us. And um, on that note, I want to do add one more. Um, Coach Washington uh, from Mountain Island has been sending in his nominations on a uh, regular basis. I want to recognize his guys. He's got three guys this week. Um, Kyle Holcomb, their quarterback, 
11 of 13, 474 yards and seven touchdowns. Good gracious, man. That is major, major work. Um, Tyquan Smooth, uh, the receiver, um, was a very uh, impressive kid. Five catches for 178 yards and three touchdowns. Man, good gracious. And um, Hunter Nichols on the defensive side of the ball. Ten tackles, one sack, one fumble recovery, one fumble caused, and a blocked punt. So, great job to those guys down there at um, Mountain Island. And um, I'm, I'm going to get over there. If it's not for a game, I'm going to come out there for some interviews, Coach Washington. I promise you. One way or another, we will get over there. <laughs> Thank you once again for those nominations, guys. I uh, appreciate it, and uh, good luck this week. Thanks a lot.